all right, this is it right here. Look at this right here. This was from a live the other day, and, and, and Muck Runner pulled something up, and we started talking. The four races of mankind and Berean TV fact checkers. Looks at that. I we well, you know fact checking too much. I ran and pulled it up. I think he was driving. I don't even know if he was driving. Yesterday, Berean TV did a live. This is Don K channel right here. Yesterday, Berean TV did a live in which they presented historical inaccurate, inaccurate information. And nobody said a word. This is not an attack. He said, this is not a tact. That's good. It's not supposed to be stopped with, you know, when people are talking. When you're in a when you're in an educational um, environment, you're supposed to ask questions and go back and forth and no attacks. This is not an attack video, but a video of correction about a false narrative that I believe that that is believed by many. And I once de I once deceived by this very image as well. Let's let's clear, I guess he's saying, let's clear this up. He's saying, let's clear this up. Listen to this right now. And it's had to do with these pictures. We're going to look at, I, I'll try, I, I'm not going to go ahead and do it, or I'll stop it. And, and we're going to look at these pictures right here. And remember what, um, remember what Hebrew, Israel was saying yesterday. Because a lot of people is of the persuasion that everybody in Egypt looked like me for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years till Alexander and some other people came up. Now, Ibri, um, I believe Hebrew of Israel said something to the contrary of that and showed many, many pictures. But the other brother wasn't trying to hear that. Actually, that other brother wasn't trying to hear that. Let me see if he's in here right now. Hey. So now it says unknown original Heinrich Menu von Minatoli, 1772 to 1846. So this is clearly not an Egyptian painting. It says cropped from file, races to JPEG. It tells you this. It says the tomb of Pharaoh Seti I. This is 1991. All right. So it says depicting from the left a Berber or Libyan, a Nubian, this guy right here, an Asiatic, Levantine, or, or the Levant. This is what they're trying to say the Levant people look like. Now pay close attention. It says a Asiatic or Levantine, and it says and an Egyptian, and they have them as brown, white black and i'm guessing this is white and it says note that the skin shades are due to the 19th century illustrator not the ancient egyptian original that's what it says on the wikipedia article that berean and dunamis were talking about and you saw kobe's comment pop up later on orthodox more gets in and nobody called this out and yet you hear them trying to present the case that this represents the skin color and for people to look at it. And I'll read this one more time. Note that the skin shades are due to the 19th century illustrator, not the ancient Egyptian original. So now, uh, like I said, I had opened this up before so you guys can see this. This is all the information if you guys want to go check into this. Now, let's look at the tomb of Seti I. If you guys come over here to the Theban Mapping Project, a project of the American Research Center in Egypt. All right, so if you guys click gallery, it will take you to the gallery. But what I did was I went ahead and I pulled this up. Now, so you can see the Book of Gates, 4th Division, 5th Hour, Scene 30, Nubians and Lydians, two of the four races of mankind, Reconstruction. Again, this is important, reconstruction. And there's a reason that there are reconstructions, but I wanna show you guys this. So these are the Libyans, these are the Nubians. And if we compare it with the other picture that we just saw, uh, let's see here. I just want you guys to note the difference in illustration. There's a reason there's all these 18th and 19th century renderings and reconstruction. So now, all right, so you see what's going on, right? So it's fair, right? It's fair to look at all the renderings that we can find. Y'all agree with that? Because there's people that's arguing all of them folk was black folk. All right, let's let we, we're gonna look at we're gonna spend we're gonna spend an hour or two looking at some stuff and reading some stuff. I might have to run to the store and get me a I'm about to go read me an energy drink. All right. So now, if we come over here, this is the four races of mankind, reconstruction. So now we have a broader picture. These are the Libyans. These are the Nubians. 
And these are the other two races, Asiatic and Egyptians. Now, we just read that. I'm going to keep going back because I want to make sure everybody is on the same page. And, and, you, and, and notice the terms that's being used because I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you some stuff by myself. I'm going to show you all some stuff. And I'm going to give you some Bible and I'm going to ask y'all a few questions. Is there such thing as racist when we deal with the Bible? Is there such thing as racist when we deal with the Bible? Let's go. A Berber Libyan. This says from the left. So this is supposed to be a Libyan. So we come back over here. We see these are the Libyans. We're going to use this to fact check everything. The Nubian. So this is supposed to be the Nubian. Uh, let me see. We come back over here. We see these are the Nubians. We see these are the Nubians. All right. Then Asiatic Levantine right here. So we're going to come back over here and look at the skin color difference. Interesting how it went from this white, palish skin person right here to, oh, wait, let me move this down so we don't keep popping back up. To these brownish people right here. These are the Asiatics. Look at the clothing. Uh, let me go back up here. Here we go. Look at the clothing. Look at the skin color change. Note that the skin shades are due to the 19th century illustrator and not the ancient Egyptian original. All right, let me close this down because I keep opening that. So now, these. This should be the correct skin shade right here. Well, not necessarily, but this is a darker skin shade. I'll say that. And again, this is the project of America Research Center. So yeah, who are bro, these guys? That only leaves the Egyptian. That he's dealing with. So if we come back over here, let me see, make sure. So they show the Egyptians as this color. And we clearly see how much darker the Egyptians are in this reconstruction. Interesting skin color difference. So if we pull up these pictures of the tomb of Seti I, I just want to pull these up again. Asiatics, one of the four races of mankind, reconstruction. You see the skin color change again. That's uh, number 55. If we go over to number 56, look at the skin color of these guys. Right here, Egyptians. It says Horus and four Egyptians as one of the four races of mankind. Look how dark the Egyptians are depicted. They are not deep. They are depicted as a shade of what we would call black. And we know if we see people this color, we don't differentiate and say, oh, but well, they're not black people. They're they're brown people. They're whatever. So now look at the Egyptians right here. And then look at the Egyptians that they showed here. They're only light brown here. But when you get over to these Egyptians, they are a much darker what brown. And like if you, you zoom in, let me see. What do they look like to you, most um, excellent? I haven't played with this website too much. But let's see if I can zoom in over here in the options. All right. I just did something. All right. Here we go. Now we zoom in. You can see the hair texture. It almost looks braided. And again, this is a recon. Now, now that's 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 just just one. Most Exodus said. I'm I'm reading what Most Exodus said. They don't look black to me. Um. Then he says they look like ancient rendering of Osama and them. You gotta remember. No, not today. Not today. Um, Ruddy Brew. You got to remember there is no Middle Eastern people in, in, in this mindset. There is no Middle Eastern people. Middle, it, it's most, it's largely black and white. What Hebrew and Israel was talking about yesterday, the ones look like the Kadashians and them. They did they, they don't really, they don't really, 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 they don't really, really count. There you go. Instruction. So now let's go over here. If you Google the tomb of Seti One, you will see why they had to do a reconstruction because the original is partially destroyed. But notice that the skin color is faded from most of them. 
you can tell it was a darker skin color that it faded out over time. How? Because this is one of the Nubians. And these are two of the other Nubians in the picture. And you can see that this one still is dark black. And this one is faded. And the skin colors of these are faded. And if you look at the feet right here, you see that this one is dark black too. And when you get over to these feet, they are partially faded. And again, let me see if uh, this will enlarge the picture. Nope, it takes us back to the Theban map mapping project. Um, all right, so that opens up the Theban mapping project. So anyway, this is why it's important to fact check these pictures. Let me move this up. This is the real picture. This is a reconstruction that they have been teaching for years that these are the four races of mankind. And when you finally see the real one, you wonder where did they get that from? How did they come to that conclusion based on this image here that this is what the four races of mankind look like? This is why it's important to fact check. Now, if you go over here to the tomb of Seti the first, you will see that these people are brown. If you scroll down, and look, and you can just Google this, Tomb of Seti the First. So I won't have a link in here for this, but you can basically just Google this and see the color of the people all over the tomb. And they have tours. Here you go. They have tours of this place. And let's see. There's more pictures over here. But yeah, you guys, if you want to see the Tomb of Seti the First and the actual color of the Egyptians, you can see all kind of different stuff on these walls. Um, you can see right here, but this isn't, uh, let me back up, that's a reconstruction as well. Uh, let's see, over here, and you can see that the skin has faded. Again, the color they use for the skin has faded. That is important. And you're seeing this faded, darker skin. I'm not saying they were jet black like the Nubians, but they were definitely not this color here. They're definitely not this color. And the only reason any of them are shown that color is because the, again, the paint has faded over time. But I'm just going through showing you guys this. This is why it's important to fact check. I want to show, um, let me see, I think there was one more. I want to show you guys. Let me make sure. All right. So now back to this one right here. These are the Egyptians. Once again, reconstruction. Uh, but I want to show you some other stuff. It's interesting that when we get to this and they try to make the case um, that Egyptians were light skinned or any of that other stuff. These right here are some winged beings, but we keep coming over here. Um, let's see, opening of the mouth ritual, Seti first seated before an offering table. Look at the color of this man. Again, reconstruction, but this is closer because they're in Egypt. They're actually in Egypt. Um, th this organization is actually in Egypt. And so it's harder to pass off whitewashing um, to people that are actually living there. Uh, so right here, we have these pictures. I just want to show you, the, um, you have these mummies right here. Let's see. Now you do have gods, goddesses, and some other beings that are depicted as light skin. And Egyptians did come in multiple colors. So I'm not saying they were only black. Uh, let me see here. Oh, here we go. Multiple the color colors. of these people. Oh, okay. okay. But they want you to believe that the four races of mankind, not not saying the Berean TV and them want you to believe that, but there was a reason that that image was put out. And it ties into the whitewashing uh, that we have talked about. And again, right here, this is all from the tomb of Seti the uh, First. Let me see. I'm trying to find the one of Isis. Uh, they have They have their gods and goddesses depicted, and they're all black. Here you go. Why, why is it that when we talk about ancient Egypt, we don't just go to the source? Why do we always have to look at a reconstruction or recreation or re-rendering? This is from the same tomb that supposedly those four races of mankind came from, even though we know they're a reconstruction. Look at these people. And again, this is an attack on Berean TV, but I think it's a simple thing to just click a picture and read the, read the information under it and um, see... Let me see here. Ah, uh, right here. There we go. This is number 81. Uh, let me hit the refresh. All right, so here we go. Book of Gates, fourth hour, or, or sorry, fourth division, fifth hour, four races of mankind. Here it is right here on the website. 
you can see why they made a reconstruction. So Berean, Dunamis, Covey, Orthodox Moore, whoever on that channel, please stop teaching this four races of mankind based on this inaccurate reconstruction of a destroyed portion of an Egyptian wall. Again, I just want you guys to see. Let me move it up. Let me move it up here. I just want you guys to see. I'm not going to let's see. I ain't going out there right now. The difference. One more time. That's what they showed. This is the original. So anyway, I just wanted to get you guys up to date. And this is important. This is why it's important to just be honest. You guys hear me say all the time, I'm not the DNA guy. I don't get into DNA discussions and pretend like I know everything because I don't want to sound like Oswald Bates trying to explain snips. And so I just tell people straight up, I'm not the DNA guy. I know what I know about my personal DNA, but I'm not ready to say, hey, everybody's DNA is this or that. And I think some people should do the same when it comes to history. Some people just are not the history guys. And they think they can just step their foot into the history and say, oh, well, this is not true. This is debunked. This is used wrong. But what we find is they don't corroborate the other sources that go along with that. They only look at one source and say, well, we don't believe this or we don't want to believe this. So we're going to say it's wrong. It's misinterpreted. And we see tons and tons of evidence. But anyway, y'all hit the thumbs up button. Do me a favor. Hit the one. Um, if you like this short video, and do me a favor and share the video if you want to support you can hit the cash app at any time cash tag b-h-i-t-b and again this is not an attack video this is a corrective video so hopefully it helps berean tv and those over there um recognize that there is still deception satan deceived the whole world and this is part of the deception the white washing of africa I really appreciate that, Dante, so much. And I want to show you some pictures and, and I want you to cooperate or help me to recognize these people as Jewish. I'm going to show you some. Well, not right now, but I'm going to show y'all some things. I want to get back to Mary and the debate. Hopefully I'm not jumping to everything, but y'all seen that and y'all heard what he said. You see how you play both sides? You see how you play that? And what do you say? Can I show what he says? Can I show some actual war release of Egypt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Matter of fact, yeah. That give me time. Yeah, that give me time. Let me come up. Let me, let me come up. Yeah, yeah. Come on here. You want to do that right quick? That give me time. Run across the street real quick, cause I'm gonna. I, I, I should stop so I can change the name of the um, cause I just went straight from Pastor Mike thing. Hold on. I went straight from Pastor Mike service. Oh, oh, shout out to Ella Green. Yeah, and I got time. And I was talking, and then I'm talking back and forth with Elder and a couple of, couple of them elders. Um, I want y'all to put this out there, but I want y'all to hear the rest of this. Watch, watch more stuff if you want to show something too. And then I want, and then I want to get back and get to the Jewish people. Oh, um, let me stop this. Let me read some. Let me read some Mary too, because I, I guess I can do some half of it now and half of it later. I just feel I don't. Uh, um, type of one, type of one. If y'all could see this right here, let's type a couple of ones. If Afrocent and you can hear me, if Afro, if Afrocentric scholars could ward off criticisms. Wait, wait, wait where, where am I? At? No, no, I want, I want to get myself together. Right, hold on, I ain't even got my slide again. I ain't even got my read thing. Um, hold on, let me let me let me try to get all of this stuff together. Figure out where I'm at. Give me a second. Let me go back to Mary and, and Doctor for a minute and close some of these windows up. Europe in general had nothing to do with the creation of Rome and Greece, and yet the challenge of Rome and Greece created Europe because they were scattered tribes, and the challenge of Rome and Greece brought them together, and they became a people strong enough to create a state. If anybody got any information to the contrary, state the information to the contrary. I maintain that there was no Europe. You're giving Europe 
credit for things that happened before the first European war. She lived in a house that had a window. <laughs> and I'm saying that you have not read, not just Massey, Joe Massey, his, his European disciple, Alvin I mean, Chuchwad, signs and symbols of primordial man, the origins of, of religions, and his extensive work on Freemasonry. You not read the American disciple of, 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 of Massey, Alvin Boyd Kuhn, is who, who is this king of glory, one of the best written books on the Christ story. And that's, and that's pure, oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be a long day. When he proves that Europe, the basis of European spirituality was taken directly from Africa. And that was New Age movement, and that was jumping in the Enlightenment period. That was New Age movement, and that was jumping in the 17th and 18th century. That's how come left would say this is Freemasonry right here, and this is how the Freemasons uh, looked at Egypt. This wasn't Egypt, but this is how the Freemasons looked at Egypt. I'm going to show you an encyclopedia of Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. And I'm going to show you some other stuff and we're going to read and y'all going to tell me what it is. But it's new age stuff. It's a cult tradition. Professor Rogers, would you like to follow on your question? Now, remember what I said about lore and does the ends justify the means with the tribe of Shabazz and all of that other stuff? Let me let me let you go. I mean, no one is actually maintaining that uh, literary Greek culture pre-existed um, any number of Near Eastern cultures. Again, I, I find it a bit curious. I don't accept Egypt as Near East. I accept mm -hmm. Egypt as part of, physically part of Africa, created by the Africans Even from the South. Now, now you heard how, how you say how hard he made that statement, and that's we hear a lot of people making that statement right here. Egypt ain't the Middle East. They invented the word the Middle East because of the theory that they wanted to especially dealing with the Bible, and the Bible speaks so much about Egypt, they wanted to take Egypt up out of Africa and place it somewhere else. I got I got Elder Book up there, matter of fact, that because I, I don't know, I gave my, I gave my book away, that um, African Heritage Study Bible back in the days, but Elder had an old copy. So he he let me, I'm looking for some footnotes, you know, he got his pages all, all crazy in there, but I'm looking for specific footnotes. Matter, matter of fact, I'm gonna try to read all that to y'all today. Further charity in here after he had, who, who, who else in here got a physical copy of the um, African Heritage Study Bible? Go ahead, more. I want to click your, if you're pulling the screen, I want to click it so I can walk away. If you don't mind. I'm pulling up right now. Hold on. Who got a physical copy of that? Rome, you got that? I know Fervent Fer 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 Charity said he had one. Well, who got a physical copy of the African Heritage Study Bible? I try to find that on a um, on that. They don't have that on Kindle either. A bunch of these stuff they don't have on Kindle. All right, I mute myself. All right, go ahead. You have one? No, I don't. Not, not now. You hold on a minute. Van Harris, the passage on the Middle East. They got a passage on the history with the Middle East in there. What page is it in that book? In the Bible? Is it in the intertestament? Is it in between the Old and the New Testament? I think, if I remember. I hate that I gotta go back to all of this stuff from so long ago. I'm trying to get this. Is that where they talk about the Middle East and how it was named after the First World War? And who wrote that article? Go ahead, Mom. I'm myself. Yeah, so something I now, found extremely. Right, so what, I forgot. I'm sorry. What we doing here? Because remember, he said that that was an attack video. He was just sharing information. It's not like we want to get the attacking, attacking. What, 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 what you gonna share? Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm addressing the question, right? Because, okay. like, like, all I, right, like, go ahead, go ahead. because, on, because, in, on, because on. in all of what he said, uh, and no, I agree, like, he wasn't doing the tag. We now appreciate him for yeah, clarifying yeah. what. No, 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 if you go with information, just go ahead. Just go. Ahead. I'm, 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 I'm right here. I'm gonna step out for one minute, right across the street, though. No, you good? Trying to get ready. Go ahead, mute myself. Yeah, and so what I would uh, one thing I would have appreciated from Dante's uh, video though is if he went to the forty nine minute mark in, in, in the video he played from you because you were clearly saying no one is saying that the Jews are white, no one is saying that the Jews were white at the beginning and whatnot, right? Of course. And so we were emphasizing uh, the whole reason why the whole why Dunamis brought up the, the 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 artist rendering of the wall relief was to show that there was diversity of color in in Egypt period or whatnot, right? And that and that the Asiatics were a different color period or whatnot, right? And so uh, Dante went to a, to a time period like in 1296 
circuit 12 uh, 79 to, to pull up a wall relief of of uh, from the book of gates or whatnot from uh uh, from Egypt or whatnot. And so he's shown the the, the, the four races of man and whatnot. And you can't really see the faces and people and all that kind of stuff. So I'm I'm gonna go fill in the gaps from other wall reliefs or whatnot from Egypt prior to that time period, if that makes sense. And so going forward, he's talking about Sebi the first reign, which again is a, a circa uh, 1294, 12 uh, 1290, or his reign, excuse me, was 1290, uh, 1294 to, to 1290, uh, 1279 BCE, etc. Um, and you can see this is what uh, uh said he looked like this he has a the phenotypes of maybe like a maybe like a somali man or something like that very similar to very very similar to and this is this is a uh, the wall relief from city city the first tomb um depicting the 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 four races of man and and uh, dante is 100 percent correct in the fact that you can see lightning happening you can see in terms of like like over time you can see colors fading etc and you can see, like, you can see that it's not a, a complete, complete picture. So he has every right to point that out. But there all there are other wall reliefs that do depict um, these same people and whatnot. And the point that was being brought forward. Um, so you can go to the Beni Hassan tomb paintings from circa 1900 BCE. And you also see a picture of a Western Asiatic clearly depicted next to an Egyptian. And you can see that they're two different colors. One is is like that brownish red color on the right with the Egyptian, and one is like a very like a yellowish brown kind of a color with a whole different hair texture on the left. And so we can see that with the Western Asiatic. Um, if you go to this actual photo, there's a ton of uh, Western Asiatics on 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 the wall relief or whatnot. But this illustrates the point that Dr. Brown was saying. Like so, if these Western Asiatics are are emblematic of the types of people that the Israelites would have come from. Um, from from Dr. Brown's argument, uh, these are a completely different color, and they wouldn't be the same color as the Egyptians, right? Um, now, this is this is uh, nineteen B, uh, nineteen hundred BC. This is this is around the time of like Abraham or 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 or, uh, or, or Joseph, etc. It's in between that time period, right? So this is what they, the Western Asia actually looked like coming in from that time period. Do they have varying looks? One hundred percent. I'm not going to sit here and say that they only have one monolithic phenotype, but to be clear. This is closer to the phenotype that was on 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 the wall relief um, at said the said the first tomb for the for the book of gates and the in the four races of man and whatnot. And you can clearly see the depiction. And no, they're not white, one hundred percent. They're not white, but they're not black like the Nubians, like Dante said. And that's that's the oh, point. That, most ex, I'm sorry, most excellent. Just be the thing. I said I'm I'm looking. I'm trying to. I'm putting my shoes on. I'm looking. He said, but he said, J. Jack said both brown. Look at this one right here. Jews are mixed with black people, period. Did I'm a little slow. Is yeah. that that ain't what is Dr. Brown trying to deny that? No, no, he's he sure saying Jews are mixed with black. I, go ahead, y'all. Go ahead. Because I I'll send it out with some time and, I, and I'm gonna never get this 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 other thing right. Go ahead, go ahead. I got right. The, the point of Dr. Brown is that at the founding event of the nation of Israel, they were not a Nubian looking like people, they were not the people that the Egyptians classified as black or that they put on as the black looking people. And they weren't even as again, he's saying they weren't even they weren't even as dark uh, possibly as the Egyptians, right? And that's what this wall relief is showing if you're going with it with this concept. Right? That's how come we're gonna get to that boxwood thing today. Y'all, some a good bit of y'all are in here are saying them Israelites left Egypt looking like me. Is that correct? Yes or no? Ezra the Karite Hebrew, ben, um, Ezra Ben Karite Hebrew, yes or no? Yes or no? That's what y'all are saying, right? The original Israelites were black. That's what y'all are saying. The church is not saying that. I don't know if more saying that. I don't know if Yap Gang saying that. The church is not saying that. Where there are blacks among them, yes, y'all are trying to act like they're black African looking like Berean, correct? Type of one, correct? Israel descent, yes. Okay, who else in here is? I want to see. So I want to. That's what y'all saying, right? Don't switch up. What's being said? Check what we're looking for, Brian. Let me know. I forgot what we're looking for. I can't remember. Go ahead. Let me just run outside and come back. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. So if if that's not enough to make the point that I'm trying to say for Dr. Brown or whatnot in terms of his point, um, let me go to another another wall relief. So. Uh, you have a wall relief of Asiatic soldiers um, 
that are being it's it's it's, it's, it's they're found on a block and the block is reused in the temple of Ramses the fourth or whatnot. And this is circa 1427, 1400 BCE. So this is like 500 years after that first one and whatnot, right? And this is what they have the Asiatics looking like there. You can see a, a range of color, right? A range of color, but none of them. I don't think that that Dante is going to come on here and say that any of them look. That, that, that was the point that I made earlier. That Dante is not saying that these Asiatics he's pointing to look like they're black or look Negro in any way, shape, or form. And that's something that I, I don't want people to miss, right? Hold on. The majority of them look darker than white for sure. That's what Red Letter is saying. Red Letter, the only, the only thing that I want to get to, I want y'all to confess everybody wasn't black whenever the hell back then was. Because everybody, all y'all come, a bunch of y'all, not you specifically, a lot of people come and say they were all black back then. Mm -hmm. Is that a true statement? Yes or no? Red letter. I'm talking to you specifically. Were they all black back then? Israel descent? Were they all black back then? When the children, what year you tell me Israel? This y'all history. What year y'all left out of Egypt, J Jax? And when you been around this time period. Black, are you looking at black people like fervent charity is light skin, more light skin, I'm um, dark skin? Are you looking at us like black Americans? I'm talking about the foot of mouth. I'm talking about when they came up out of Egypt. A week later, after they came up out of Egypt, did they all look like me, yes or no? Did brown people exist back, did, um, like a Syrian, did, did the Kim Kardashian type that the Hebrew of Israel was showing, did they exist back then, or is those lies Hebrew of Israel was showing? That's my question right now. Before I walk out the door, because I can listen to the rest of the headphones. All right, this guy, at least Ronnie Brew making sense. I, I'll say you had a bomb, Jesus in heaven. He'd rather make your binos. This is real, y'all. This one said no. This one said no. Oh, no, they say no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Who said they were all black? Did people that look like Kim Kardashian exist when they came out of Mount Sinai? When they came out, they were first. And Moses could receive the commandments where there are people that look like Kim Kardashian in Egypt. That's what I'm waiting for. I know y'all a couple of seconds behind, but I want that answer before I put my headphones in. They mix with the all right. And they, all right, all right, all right, a few people, yes. But did the majority, red letter saying, okay, let me see what else. All right, keep going, keep going. I hear my phone. Yeah. Okay. So, and a question I have for the people real quick before I keep going is, would you say that these people are Negro? Would you call them Negro phenotypically? Do they look like West Africans to you? Because that's the whole point. That's what's getting obfuscated, obfuscated here is, is people are saying that, that, that this, this base of people is supposed to be West African looking, West African black looking and whatnot. My man said, yes. Interesting. Based upon what do they look? Do they look uh, West African Negro to you? Just so, just so I'm clear, Lakeshore Fly and Israel descended. Just so I'm clear. But while you're doing that, I'm gonna keep going forward. So this might not be enough to to establish some a uh, 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 look for other people as well, right? So this is an Asiatic tribute from the tomb of Sobekotep from again circa 1400 BCE, right? Um, Again, the, the he's you can see he's clearly a different color than the horse or whatnot, right? He's still not white. No one, no one's saying that they're white. What people are like, what, what Doctor Brown was saying is that they weren't as they weren't black. They weren't as dark as like the like just like uh, uh, Dante said they weren't as black as the Nubians, right? That's the whole point. That's the whole point on the floor. But what else can we see from the from this tomb? We can actually see Nubians and we can actually see Egyptians from this tomb, so we can compare and contrast. So there's there's people on this tomb, uh, 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 on the wall reliefs of this tomb that are that are papyrus reed bearers or whatnot. They're Egyptian. We can see their 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 color right there. We can see Nubians that are also tributaries themselves. Same same tomb paintings and whatnot, right? And we can see how the, the colors coming off. But we can see the the original color thereof, how how dark it is, etc., whatnot. And we can also do a comparison fan. And so we can see that the Asiatic is still not as dark as the Egyptian. Or the Nubian. He's not even as dark as the horse fan. 
So there's clearly a gradation here and they're not all the same color. And that's the, that's the whole point of, of what, of what, uh, of, of what Dr. Brown is saying is like, they, they didn't look like the Nubians fan. They didn't look like the black people. Would not feel. That's the whole point. They didn't have the modern phenotype of, let's say even the limbo would, right? But there's going to be some people who don't accept this or whatnot. Um, and I'm going to bring forth a, 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 a controversial slide a little bit, but this is again, more Asiatic attributors from the same tune of, of Sobeko Tep from circa 1400. And this is what Yap is saying. Yap is saying that in the land of Levant, that there would have been a range, right, from intermediate to darker. And that's the, that's the, the some, some of the paper that, uh, that, uh, that Shari, had, that you showed from Shari reading the other day, um, is that you're going to see a range in the Levant. Look at these Asiatic people here. This is the same tune, right? They're light to dark. This is the range of the area, fam. This is the range of the area, fam. No one's saying white people, not Yap, not Dr. Brown. Dr. Brown is saying just these people. Yap is saying all these people were in the land, right? But again, even this brother's not looking Nubian. And that's the whole point. And the difference here is the whole point. This is what Yap keeps saying. You get this point of, of admixture through admixture. That's the whole point. You got two people coming together, making another one. So there's nothing wrong with that. But we got to answer some questions. Because this, this is the issue here. This is what this is what Brian was talking about. An artist, I'm, I'm going to compare these people to the artist rendering on top of, of, of the of the of the four races of men. One more time, it's an artist rendering of the four races of men, right? Y'all are going to say that all these people on the screen at the bottom are black. Kyrie, Kyrie Irving looking like the like the red Egyptians, Trey Young looking like the 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 the, the Asiatics and whatnot. Bol Bol looking like the Nubians and Zach Levine looking like the, 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 the Libyans or whatnot, right? You're going to say all those skin tones are black. At that point, black has no meaning, fam. And you, you keep using this modern colloquial term um, anachronistically to, to deal with scholastic uh, conversations about going back into the past or whatnot, and you can't do that. Why can't you do that? Because you're special pleading the whole time. This whole range right here, you're going to say is black. And at that juncture, who isn't black? At that juncture, who isn't black if you're going to claim all these skin tones as one thing? Because here's what you're not going to do. You're not going to claim any of these people here as Negro or black, but they got the same skin tones or whatnot. My man on the right over here is from Morocco, looking like the Libyans or whatnot. You're not going to say he's a Negro. My man, as dark as he is, is from India. As dark as he is, you're not going to say he's a Negro. My man, Omri Caspi, he is a, he's an Israeli. He's a Levantine brother himself right now. You know what I'm saying? Looking not too different from the from the man on top of him. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to say he's a Negro, but he got the same skin tone as Trey, as Trey Young. This one is super interesting. Y'all would say he's a Negro, and y'all would be 100% wrong about Patty Mills. Patty Mills is half Melanesian, half Australian Aborigine. Now, he even looks like he could be West African. There's nothing about his autosomes that are Negro in any way. He's not going to take a, a 23 me and get one lick of West Africa, fam. And that's the point of clearing up all this lookership is it's not being had by, we're not talking about skin tone and phenotype from a scholastic point of view. We're doing it from a, from a modern sense of lookership and not l looking at how uh, uh, the scholars in academia are looking at skin tone and whatnot, right? And we need to clear this all the way up, all the way up. This is this is a uh, the sister, uh, the page on my sister brought out the other day, right? Or the the, the paper my sister brought out, and it, this is talking about um, the different, the, amongst other things, you can see the different phenotypes of the people that were in Western Eurasia and other places and whatnot, right? Um, and you can and you can see their their hair, their hair color, their skin tones, their eye color, etc., and that, right? And it's an extremely important thing to understand. She brought this out to point out the fact that, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, let me just jump to it right quick and just jump past all this stuff and just keep it short and sweet right quick. She brought this out to break down the fact that there's that, that there was very little pale skin in the area at the time and that it was mostly going to be either like, again, the majority was intermediate skin. 
intermediate skin. Then you had dark to black, and then you also had dark or brown or whatnot, right? You can also see they had different eye colors or whatnot, fam. There's some, there's a small group of people that have blue eye color or whatnot, right? But they're not dominant. No one's saying that that's the dominant in the situation. But the point is, is you can't act like it's also not. They're adding autosomes at that point, fam. That's the whole point. So the majority of people in the area are going to be intermediate. We're talking about coming out the Levant um, in other parts of Western Eurasia, et cetera, right? We're not talking about Egypt, fam. Again, trying to make everybody, they're mistaken to look like the Egyptians. They're, nowhere in the Bible does it say that their skin tone looked anything like the Egyptian. And people need to get this one understood or whatnot, right? Because you keep saying that the Egyptians are, are, the, are, 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 the, are the measuring stick, are the measuring rod. But again, when we go to the actual, the actual uh, reliefs of the Egyptians, they're saying the people coming out from that area are varying tones. Varying tones. So even the Egyptians you're citing aren't saying the same thing you're saying, and we got to slow it down at that junction. And that's why um, I'm talking about these slides here. Because at this juncture, we got to fix this problem right here. There is no consistency. All of those cannot be the same skin tone. Fan. All of those cannot be the same skin tone. And they don't look the same under the microscope. The microscope, they don't have the same the, the same expressions via the alleles and, and, and all that type of stuff. Man. They're not the same. Scientifically, those are not the same alleles, but we're calling them the same color. We're saying that they're scientifically the same. That's not that's not viable. And so I can appreciate what what uh, what uh, what what uh, Dante was doing in terms of clearing up the source of what I understand. Like, oh, this isn't the actual. Uh, the actual rendition from the wall, the actual art. This is an artist rendering. Cool. No issue with that. But the point on the floor was, were they all the same color? And the answer is resoundingly no. And, the, and this answer is that the Asiatics are lighter than the Egyptians and lighter than the Nubians. And that's, and that's the whole point of what Dr. Brown was saying, is that they're brown, that they're not black. Uh, and I'm going to stop sharing my screen right there. That's all I really want to jump on and say. Uh, I know Brent out doing his thing, thing, so let me uh, read the chat right quick and fill some questions for him. So I see a boost in exactly, exactly the genetic evidence, the artistic evidence, and even the Bible via Genesis forty-one fifty-seven all imply a diverse Egypt, and that's the whole point. And another question to ask in that in that uh, boo is. What role did Israel play in the diversity of what did they add to the diversity? What were they bringing in in terms of their genetic imprint or whatnot, right? Um, and at that juncture, we're, we're doing this from, from a, we're reverse engineering this thing. We're doing stuff like looking at, at, a, at Reich's papers and whatnot and looking at, at what they're, they're pulling up from the Middle East in terms of genetics and whatnot and seeing what's there. And what we're seeing reflects what they have on the walls of Egypt. What we're seeing reflects what they have on the walls of Egypt. And again, none of that means no one, not a single, not Yap, not Dr. Brown, not Berin, not Dunamis, not, not no, nobody over here is make a claim that the original Jews were white. What, what Dr. Brown was saying is that is that they weren't black. Is that they weren't black. Now, again, Yap is saying that there's a range in the Levant, right? From, from, from the light to the dark and whatnot, right? That's Yap. So put us to the side. But deal with Dr. Brown's argument, right? So what's the issue of saying that they're brown? Because he's saying they go from being brown to mixing with darker populations in Africa and becoming darker. That's scientifically viable. He's saying they go from being brown to mixing with European populations and becoming lighter. Again, that's scientifically viable. We see that every day. Every day. If they go into to Asian populations, they're going to look more Asian via admixture. That's, that's just how admixture works and whatnot. That's why even on the walls with Kemet, there's 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 a picture of Asiatics with a range of color with light to dark skin. 